Welcome to my channel. I am Dorika, and in today's video, we are going to be sublimating on this mat that I got from the Home Depot. We are going to sublimate the whole entire mat, not just the center, but the whole entire mat. So, if you are a returning subscriber, you already know what to do. But if you are new, I pray that you will go ahead and join us. Kick off your shoes, relax your feet, look around at the content that I create. And if you find that you like it and you want more, please like and subscribe. Because remember, you all are always welcome in this house. Alright y'all, so as I said before, this mat came from Home Depot and this is the code and the brand right there in case you want to order it for yourself. Right there. And so if you want to see what I did to create this, you already know. Come on. Let's go. Okay y'all, so first let me show y'all how I made this design. I went over to Creative Fabrica and I picked out some digital paper that I wanted to use for my background. And so here is Creative Fabrica right here. And I do have a link below to it in the description. And so I signed in to Creative Fabrica and I typed in Easter um, um, Digital Easter paper, I think that's what it was, digital Easter paper. And you can scroll through and just find the one that you want. Um, let me see, can I find the one that I chose? Uh, Easter digital paper. Okay, this is the one that I chose right here. And I just downloaded it and it gave me all of these. Um, I press download and then my downloads were available for me and I always send my downloads to my um, desktop folder and here they are already in my folder and this is the one I chose the second one right here that's what I chose for my background and This is my folder right here. I have so many backgrounds in this folder and I chose those backgrounds from Creative Fabrica. Um, trying to go back to it. And Creative Fabrica is about $47 a year. Depends on what um, subscription you want. It's about $47 a year. And you can download funds, graphics, um, needlework, anything that you want. To design, you probably can find images for it in Creative Fabrica. So that's that right there. And then I went over to Photoshop, as you can see. That's the background right there. And the image size, the canvas size is, let me show you, um, 30 inches wide by 18 inches in height. That's what size, size this whole um, background is. That is the canvas. And then I just um, chose a font. This font is Lunaire font, the because. And I just um, designed it how I wanted to design it. I don't know why this bar keep coming up. Oh, I know. Okay. Um, I just put the word because he lives, I can face tomorrow. And I just put strokes around it. I'm not going to go into designing this and all that. But um, that is what I did. I just chose a background and put words on it. And I printed it out. And I tried to keep all of my words in the center um, of the design. Because if you make it too big and put the words to fill the whole um, image, 
when you go to press your mat, these words are going to get cut off in their back in the black part on the mat. So you want to try to keep all your words in the center. And they're about three inches from each edge. One, two, three squares here. And about one, two, maybe four squares here, four and a half squares here. And I should have centered this a little bit better, but oh well. It's not centered. <laughs> oh, well, it may be one, two, three, four. It's about four squares on that edge as well. So three to four squares around the edges is what you want to leave. Just try to put your words um, further in the center so they won't get cut off on the black rim of the mat, the black edge of the mat, um, per se. So, yeah, that's what I did to make this design. So let's go print it out, and then let's cut it, and then let's press it. Okay, so here we are at the printer. This is the Epson T7270, the sugar color Epson T7270, and it is not meant to be a sublimation printer, but I did convert it to a sublimation printer. Um, just adding sublimation ink instead of the ink that came along with the printer. So yeah, here we are printing it out. Okay, so we are done printing our image out. So now let's take it over to the heat press table um, and print it out and cut it out, I'm sorry. And then we'll press it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and cut this out. I am just gonna trim around the edges as close as I can to the actual design. So we're all trimmed up, as you can see. Um, I left a little bit on this edge, but I'm not going to worry about it because I think I have enough coverage on the edges to cover it without that little white showing up on it. And let's match it. Try to line it up as best as we can. And it's hard to say if I'm even or not. Let me see. Let me just turn it over so I can see. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, so I guess that's okay. Just trying to make sure that I have enough room on both sides. Here's about where the words are going to fall. So I guess that is as even as I'm going to get y'all. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring this as close as I can to the edge of this Teflon mat that I made. And all I used to make this Teflon mat was some uh, upholstery foam. Um, that my brother gave me that he uses for cars when he does like upholstery for car seats and things like that. So I used that and I used some um, sticky Teflon paper that I bought from Amazon. And I did link that below in another description, but I can link it below again if someone would like me to just let me know. Mm. 
So I'm going to cut another piece of butcher paper. I put one piece on the bottom to help protect this mat. And I'm also going to put a piece on top to help protect my heat press plate. Hopefully I'll cut it up. This roll is heavy. And I need to just pre-cut me some cheese. When I get a chance, because I just got this from Amazon um, earlier in the week. seeing where I want to start pressing it and I think I want to start pressing on this side so I'm just gonna slide that over it cuts on that paper off the side so we're gonna turn it the other way how about that this paper down first. How about that? Go ahead and trim my butcher paper some more so I can have, I won't have as much trouble turning it and maneuvering it around when it's time to um, turn it to the other side. So again, we're going to press this end for um, 60 seconds at 400 degrees and then I'll turn it around and press the other side. I need to lighten my pressure some because it's too tight. Too much pressure. Should have checked it earlier. Now that's not enough pressure. So let's see what this does. I think I'm gonna leave it right there. First press right there. All right, now let's turn it around and get the other side. And that's why I trim my paper to kind of match the size of the mat so I can turn it better. At first I had cut too much butcher paper, craft paper, whatever you want to call it. And so I just trimmed it down so I can slide get on this mat better. Alright, let's go with another press. And I'm just going to take a little peep at this side. Right here. And as you can see, that little edge didn't get pressed, so I'm going to press it again on this side. And I'm going to be careful about moving this paper because it's supposed to be tacky. And I got it for Johnson's Pro, but it's not as tacky as my normal paper that I normally use, but that company from Coastal Business Supplies, where I normally order it from, and they were out of stock. And this is not tacky at all. But I am gonna repress this side right here. I am just have to be real careful about how I pick it up. My normal company, their paper, you can pick it up, and it has so much tack on it that it automatically tack back down. But this one, it's trash. I'm going to flip it back around and get this other side over here. take a peek at this side hmm I didn't get that side either and it may just be because of the black part stopping it but I'm gonna get I'm gonna try this side again as well I don't 
don't know if y'all can see that. I'll show it to you when I move the camera, when I turn it around again. I might have had it too far back to the back of the heat press. Not sure. And, oh, I think I shifted my paper. Did I shift it? Hold on. So I'm gonna flip it back around. Hope it didn't shift on me. And I'm gonna get this edge right here. Look like I may have had it too far to the back of the heat press. So it did not press the first time. So we're gonna do it one more time. See, did we get this edge again? I don't know if y'all can see. We got it that time, but I don't know if y'all can see what I was showing you. It did press that time. I think I had the mat too far to the back of the heat press at first. All right, let me turn it around and see did we get that side. And I'm gonna hold this down. Hopefully it won't shift if I just peep at it. Um, let's see. Okay, I think we got it. I don't know if that's how the image was or what. But let me see. Let me see. Uh, I don't know what that was. Oh, the egg. That's supposed to be an egg. Hmm. Oh, that part. That's the white part of the egg right there on this paper, as you can see. So it's going to stay the same color as the matte was because it's white. That sucks. So we're just going to lift up this side. And I can see right now this top part needs to be pressed again. So I'm just going to flip it. And we're going to press, do one press in the center. this out and let's take another look at the top again I'm gonna hold it down with my finger and it's hot just so it won't move out of place in case I need to repress something and I don't like the way the outline of this. And I shifted it. Because <laughs> I was going to show y'all something. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Because I can't get it back into place. Anyway. Okay, so here is the rug right here. Up close and personal. And as you can see, it's still hot. But it did shift on me. All those little black spots is called ghosting. All around the letters, that is ghosting. And I should have taped the paper down but I didn't and again if I had tacky paper the one I normally use from Coastal Business Supply um, that wouldn't happen I wouldn't have had to tape it down at all so yeah um, all that is ghosting around the letter that should be white but those little grayish looking spots right there all that is ghosting so overall I think if I would I would have taped it down like I should have this would have been a beautiful all over Matt from Home Depot. So you want to tape it down or want to get some good quality um, tacky paper. So there it is. It's still going outside my door, y'all. <laughs> For sure. I know you ain't ready to leave my house. But as always, you're always 
welcome back. And I want to leave you with this. Like that Matt said, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. I can face tomorrow, and you can too. There's nothing you can go through that God cannot bring you out of. He was the same God then, and he is the same God now. You can face tomorrow. You can do it because he lives. Focus on his promises. Focus on the promises of God. Keep the faith, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.